I may have mentioned the rather questionable haircut that I've given my cat, Bluebell, whose long fur needed a bit of a trim. Well, the team decided that it was uh, time to give uh, Holly a bit of a grooming lesson uh, so, uh, so she can't embarrass the poor cat again. I know. In just a moment, we're going to meet a top dog groomer, Stuart Simons. But first, we've got one of the country's leading cat groomers here, Julie Harris. And so, Julie, thank goodness for you. You are here to help. So, basically, the reason I did it was because <laughs> under her chin here, she's got really long sort of mane fur. That's correct. And when she was licking it, she'd get stuck like this because it was getting stuck in her teeth and she was wedged with her own fur in her mouth. <laughs> so I thought, right, I can help you with that, Bluebell. And I just snipped it, but it looked very straight and quite jaggedy. So I just, I never heard of taking a cat to be trimmed. Um, we do quite a few cats nowadays. Yeah. Cats have got a double coat, so they do shed quite easily. And where you've got these horrible lines is where you've cut all the dead hair. Uh, so dead hair becomes hollow. Oh. So that's why it marks so terribly. Oh, I see. So the okay. best way to get out any of the dead hair is to is to pluck. Oh, right. So we literally do like an almost like a little sewing motion and just. But that's not hurting the hair. Her. Not at all. It's just the dead hair. Bluebell, what do you think of that? So you can see. So that's all I needed to do. All you needed to do oh was God, to just gently pluck, is. and you can see she's not bothered at all. Do you no, want to have a little really go? No, she's not. Oh well, she's probably going to be really bothered <laughs> when I do this. She's like, not you <laughs> again. It's almost you like a were, sewing motion. You did a quite interestingly when uh, when you were getting mm -hmm. to know her. You were rubbing your arms on her, rubbing. So you were saying that you were tr like becoming. So cats have got lots of pheromones around their faces. Yes, yeah. So when we it's try okay. and have a cat in the salon, they're in a strange environment. So like here, um, she doesn't know me. We met for a few minutes earlier. She's clearly beautiful, but she doesn't know me, so I'm trying to just transfer some of her pheromones onto me. Yeah. So she I be calmed kind down of, really quickly. Yeah, yeah I did. kind of become part of her gang really quickly, so it's a really good way. So is that it? I mean, can you still do a bit of... You I mean, can where still do I've a little bit of... Up, yeah, I can just a little can bit of tidy. Can you blend it in? Absolutely. OK, show us how you do that, then. So I'm just going to hold... Generally, when we groom cats, we always have them facing away from us. So they can't bite you. So they can't bite us. <laughs> And they're, they're, She's never they're been slippery anyone. little suckers sometimes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold just the side of her head here and I'm going to back her into me and we use a tiny little comb. Hey, Bluebell. Yeah. There's a hey. good girl. And I'm just going to lift this all up and you can see where you've... And she doesn't mind that. No. You can see where you've cut. I know, look how bad that is. Gosh. <laughs> are you you've sure she right doesn't mind that? that? She doesn't you? mind that at all. She's fine. Okay. She's actually, I can feel her purring feel. Oh, really? Yeah. She's having a little... Yes, she is. Yeah, she's enjoying that. Little she's weirdo. Fine. I mean, no, why does she like that? <laughs> then I'm just going to just blend all that in just to make it not look quite so... So fluff... So well. cut about. OK. Not like you've been a dip with a knife and fork, is what we generally <laughs> say. Say <laughs> in the salon. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, people. I'll never do it again. I'm just going to pluck through. Can you see how easily that's yeah. coming out? So. Oh, look at that little face. Are you OK? And gently... <laughs> She's, 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 she's really fine. funny enough. Yeah, she's really she's comfy. Fine. She is. It doesn't look comfy. She but definitely she is trusts you more than me, that's for sure. Well, who, what, who'd be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> she's thinking this woman knows what she's doing. All right, good. And well, I think a lot of it is with the handling. They feel confident because. Because you're holding her yeah, firmly. Yeah, absolutely. She knows. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, well, well done. Oh, look, she's happy <laughs> now. Thank you very much. And I'm going to let you take her out because we've got some dogs coming in now and she's never met a dog. Oh. So she's met <laughs> lots of squirrels, <laughs> no oh, dogs. Bye, Bluebell. Welcome. Thank you.